So if you have one of these, and it has one of these, that uses one of these, then this video is for you. Okay guys, so before we get in the video, this is the pull cord for the 120 autopilot. And quite frankly, this thing, it's, you know, it's a great system, but the reality is this is a used one and you'll, this is one from after the video. But as you can see, this thing gets really worn. So if you use your AP120 or your 136 a lot, and you're constantly pulling the motor up and down, up and down, up and down, what happens is, and I'll show an up close of this in the video, this paracord gets glazed over. So it's gonna get glazed over and man, it just, it, it just won't lay in the cleat. So Old Town actually has a kit that you see here that allows you to uh, replace it. Guys, I'm gonna be upfront and honest with you, this is not an easy replacement. It looks easy on paper, it is not. So let's get into the why. Okay guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the clip and untie it. You're gonna put this to the side, save everything, and then we're gonna remove the motor Make sure we tuck everything up, don't lose anything. Take the motor out, and then we're gonna pull the old one out. This is, just be careful and kind of watch it as you pull it out, but you know, it's gotta come out. So let's get that part out. And you can see this is worn. It's glazed over completely. here and the reason we're doing this is because the cleat wears just like the the rope does so we're going to take that out and we're going to stage up the new ones so this is a little bit uh the cleats the screws they provide with the cleat are a little bit tight so i found it real easy to uh stage them and oh by the way when you use a power drill to put it in put it on its lowest torque setting before you put that in, that way you don't strip anything out. So I'm gonna pull this through, I'm gonna detangle this, um, and this is just gonna help me not have this come through so it can't come back through. Things done, but what I wanna show you here is how you get this thing to the point that you can get it through the grommet that you're gonna see in the video coming up. And believe me, this is gonna save you a lot of time. So you wanna go back at least an inch or two on this paracord and you wanna burn it. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna alternate heat on this thing. Don't get crazy with it, don't get stupid with it, but, and you just wanna manipulate it. Get it hot and then just roll it in your fingers. Roll it back and forth in your fingers and just repeat this over and over. So once again, Roll it around, heat it up, get it nice and warm, and then just get, this is gonna get hot, but trust me, so what we're doing here, what I'm doing here, is I am taking this and basically keeping it from being able to flex too much. And I wanna go back about an inch. When I was doing this, I found I, this is what I found out while I was replacing this. I wanna get this front hot. I almost wanna get this glazed completely over and just roll it around to keep it from getting any edges and just compress it. Um, and like I said, you're gonna continue to heat it. And then just roll it around. And once again, all you're doing here is making this really rigid, rigid, um, shrink you know shrink it down for lack of a better term and you can see here i've really got this uh rolled up to where it'll go through the grommet really easy and you'll see in the video what i'm talking about okay guys so you're going to feed this through once you get that to a point that you can and one of the things you want to do is you want to try to detangle as much of this as you can you see I'm detangling it here. This is kind of sped up. Um, and then bring your block 
up so you can attach the block back in. We want to feed as much as we can into that. This is going to come into play later. Set the block down. That way we don't have to worry about it coming back. Okay, guys, you might want to pause right here and look at this routing right here. I'm about to point out here. So one of the pulleys is right where my finger's at now. Um, this is blind. And then the other one's right there where my thumb was at. So you're kind of reaching in here to get the cord and you're going to route it through. Go back and look at the, the diagram I had previously and, you know, just be careful not to tie this up as you wrap it. All right, guys, next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie this end up to make sure it can't come back through. Believe me, guys, all you got to do is put a simple knot in this. That's all you have to do. So we're going to go through here. Come back. We're going to go through one more time, just for good measure. So move this over to the side, and then we're going to put this back through, like so. So we've got a good tight collar there. We're going to tie just a single overhand here. Single knot doesn't need to be complicated towards the end. And we're going to pull that super tight. There you go. And lay that in there. And then we're just going to put this back over the top. There we go. Okay, we're back at it. We're going to pull this back out. We're going to lay this to the side. We're going to put the motor back in. Now, keep in mind, we want just enough slack in this thing for this to be able to get on here, but that's about it. We don't want I'm going to kind of give an idea of just a little bit of slack. A lot of time, we're not going to make this super tight, but we're going to make it tight enough. So, just so you guys see, we can easily get this on and off. Looks like we had some success. 